If somebody's putting their true passion and their true love into it, that's a good beer. By that definition, Chris Gansey has been making good beer for a decade. Gansey is the owner of Daleview Biscuits and Beer, the only black-owned brewery that brews on-site in all of New York State. And that happens in these tanks below a kitchen that's very busy serving up biscuits and fried chicken by way of somewhere very special to both of us, our mutual hometown of Columbia, South Carolina. Where'd you go to middle school? Um, Gibbs. Oh, yeah, we used to play you guys in basketball. We used to beat Gibbs all the time. You sure about that? <laughs> Gansey says he didn't even drink beer until his wife gave him a small home brewing kit 10 years ago for Father's Day. Being from Columbia, South Carolina as well, I know, especially in the summertime, cookouts are big. Yes. You mean to tell me back then you weren't, like, drinking tall boy beers? No. <laughs> no I was not drinking beer at all. But three years ago, that hobby evolved into a business. How did you get from those home brewing kits to the owner of quite the establishment. People that believed in me, I had my wife and some close friends who believed in the, in the vision and kind of pushed me forward. It's like, you, you can do this. Why not spread the joy? Now he's turning out craft beer and Carolina biscuits in the heart of Lefferts Garden, Brooklyn. Intentionally choosing a historically black neighborhood to help integrate an industry with little diversity. I wanted a place where I could be part of the community and also do a place to educate people around craft beer. Like, I feel a cold beer is something that can bring people together. Out of the roughly 8,500 breweries in America, just about 60 are black owned. My hope is we can help change mindsets in the neighborhood because the neighborhood is changing and in creating and unity and, and um, equity. So that's my goal to help create equity in this community. Gansey is striving for more than exposure and equity, but for a few teaching moments as well. Dale views beers are named after lesser known civil rights leaders like Jamaican activist Paul Bogle and freedom rider Diane Nash. These are the last three in existence. We sold out of the We sold out of yes. Diane Nash. It's a beautiful label. And I love that on the back you actually explain for folks who might be unfamiliar. Even better than the label is what's inside them. I'm not used to learning and drinking at the same time. <laughs> this is a novel concept. Oh, it's not just beer? No, it's also biscuits. Wow. And let me tell you, a lot of folks won't recognize this, but that's pimento cheese. What, what you know about pimento cheese? That's, yeah, Columbia, South Carolina. I grew up. I had pimento cheese three times a day. My grandma would say, y'all put your foot in that. That is fantastic. Chicken thigh. Of course. Yeah. Now I said, oh boy, <laughs> our workers gonna love this. A taste of South Carolina, now educating Brooklyn beer drinkers, all thanks to a thoughtful present. Had your wife decided to give you a tie for Father's Day? I'd probably be a tie maker. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let me tell you, okay. I've had a lot of chicken biscuits wow. in my day. That. The best ever. The best, the best ever. Wow. Ever. Wow. Ever. Do you want wow. South Carolina peeps to know that? Well, I, I, I probably made some enemies. <laughs> but but make, no, he makes them proud. Yeah. Yeah. And he's from South Carolina. Yeah. He comes by it, honestly. Yeah. And the beer is great, too. Dale, awesome. you there? So. Oh, wow. That was, that was a great story. Really cool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go check that out.